Hey everyone! Right now I'm in Guangzhou. It's two hours away from Shenzhen. This is kind of my uh, where my relatives live in. So it's very homey, you know. This kind of alleys, there are a lot, man. Today I got lost because I haven't been back to, to Guangzhou for so long. And there are a lot of little alleys. The, con the construction is very different from Shenzhen. You can get lost in the city. And the herbal tea. And I have herbal tea in my neighborhood in Shenzhen also. So, yeah, same. Very traditional neighborhood. And you can see other, but more Cantonese stuff. <laughs> so, the people here speak Cantonese. Some speak Mandarin. Like, Shenzhen is an international city, but Shenzhen focuses more on tech and Guangzhou focuses more on foreign trade business. See, there is another store selling pork butcher. So this is kind of like a wet market, an urban village combination. You see all those preserved vegetables, kind of like a Hong Kong style. Anyway, this is, and you, you can see a lot of people at night they're still selling vegetables and stuff. It's very busy. Wow. I want to go inside the alley, so I'm going to focus, stay on this alley. <laughs> right now it's like almost 7 o'clock, but it's still busy. So the first time when I went to New York, the first first thing I do when I get off the plane is try to find some food. Right? Even find some of ramen noodles, a place to eat, but I can't find any. All I got is chips from the hotel. From the, their, uh, so this is one ton dumplings. You can buy them raw and then cook it at home, the noodles. So if I just got on the plane, I can come here no problem. If you want to buy groceries, not just online, they also have the offline. Like this kind of store still exists. Even though e-commerce are so common in China, like you can get anything on Taobao, but like the people, like retired, the pe retired old people, they are still working, working hard to support the family. This kind of store is common. I've shown you near my neighborhood, and you know it's great, which I really like this. In Shenzhen, you see a lot of this. You see a lot of tall buildings, very international. You see where internet? Oh, this is my one of my favorite. You see, they roast it. Very cheap, only two dollars for five kilograms. Wow. I don't know where you guys live, my followers. Maybe you live in like, let's say Texas or something. I like Florida. You don't have anything like this. It's special. It's unique for a lot of maybe for a lot of my. Uh, foreign reviewers, Western reviewer, uh, viewers. In your love, I remember on the trip with JLC in Italy, uh, we can get pizza and stuff. That's great too. But in America, it just maybe because I don't live in the center of the city, that's why it's harder for me to get uh, a nice snack. But here, okay, at night you come down with your family, your friends, your co-workers, you come down here and even they have fried food. They have don't pay food. Okay, they have a lot of varieties here. It's not just Cantonese food. You see don't pay food, you see fried food, you see dessert. And just they still have that kind of culture, you know. And what I'm going to show you is my little hotel. Yes, my hotel is located in this at this place. It's the tiny like when I get out of the taxi, I thought a taxi driver dropped me off the wrong, wrong place. And I was pissed. I'm like, what what the hell, man? I paid pay for like 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 how how can you get lost? Uh, can you read a map? But the truth is they have to come all the like if you need to go into this alley as you can see, you can only see uh, bicycle and electrical bicycle, but you can't like if like taxi comes in here that would be you know a disaster because it's so the street is not 
why uh, the street is wide enough for them but you can see they have a lot of street vendors and it's so cloudy you don't want to bump into any people you see that little hotel Hoi Fung Express can you believe that their name sounds like convenience store right so when I come in here I'm like what a hotel game store laundry yeah it's I mean look And you see, and if these are all so like you know the Huang Kaiwei Huang Kai Wei, uh deck director in the love of moons, that kind of style. You know you come in and you, you still scan the QR code to show your trace. If I'm from Shenzhen, there's no problem. And all that the QR code and then that's you no know, there is a map of the hotel. This kind of oh this I ate a lot, my least. <laughs> this I eat a lot too. Like it's full of childhood memory. This hotel you can see the lot of old style uh, TV upstairs. I think it's just for decoration or it's second hands. But the owner did really put a lot of efforts in that. May probably I don't think the locals will appreciate this much because uh, usually Chinese don't see like this in their culture because. These days they watch American TV, they watch uh, Korean TV, so popular. But in the old times, these are super popular, you know, in our neighbors. But they, this, <laughs> they even <laughs> my mom used to watch it because it's so cheap. It's one dollar. It's the lotion to uh, moist for moisture of your skin. Is uh, you know when you are just a worker in a factory, you don't have a lot of extra money. Uh, you still have to protect your skin and Cantonese a lot of my friends have dry skin including me I have dry skin and this tiny little robot, robot I never seen them this probably maybe an Asian American thing because you know, going up I never seen this so let's go up ah uh, those stickers you see right next to the TV those stickers <laughs> are very really cute they're like a snack pack stickers they have the Dim some stickers. You see this? One dollar for this. Oh, in Chinatown, when I bought the stickers to put on my luggage because so many people use the Xiaomi luggage, it's so hard to find it whenever it comes out from the conveyor belt. So I put the Hello Kitty sticker. Guess how much that cost me? That was like um, eight dollars, I think. That's crazy. But here, only one dollar. You got this culture. You got the dim sum. You got the Cha siu bao, you got the dumpling, you got the spring roll, you got the flag noodles, you got the zhongzi, so cool. I'm going to get some as a souvenir and uh, give it to my friends or wherever my uh, friends come over, I can give it some to them. And this is what? A postcard. Yeah, very really considered. So on the second floor, the first thing I see is the game arcade. I'm like, what the hell? Why you have game arcade? Usually you only see in a bar or something. This kind of looks like a bar, like a chilling area, like a canteen chilling area. And this is the game arcade you can play here. If you have a kid or something, that's perfect, right? And let's go in a circle, circle motion. The soft drink snacks game. You can chill here. See, that's what I'm talking about. If you have watched the movie, the one Kaway in. Love the moon, you will see that. Wow, see, I just got my, uh, I just come back from the robot restaurant and I can put my leftovers here at the microwave. They have the laundry machine here. Uh, I guess those are just for decoration, right? Maybe just for the cleaning ladies. Right? You can, oh, you can scan Alipay, you can scan it and then put your clothes in. What? If you play mahjong, you know what it means. I don't play mahjong. I don't gamble. So they have cameras, all over, and no smoking sign. I think only two floors. I don't think there are, you see, there are no more stairs. No more stairs up. So there's only two floors. And then, yeah. All right. 